the third episode of Wolfpack drops early Thursday morning in the U.S., sometime between midnight and 3 a.m., depending on your geographical location within the lower 48. At the end of last week's episode, we got another tiny teaser that shows us a lot of stuff but doesn't really tell us much about what's happening in Wolfpack Episode 3, Origin Point. Now, the title is likely in reference to the forensic term used by arson investigators when trying to determine where a fire started. But in the case of Wolfpack, we have a lot of origins to explore. Chief among them is the origin of the bites that the kids on the bus suffered. Also, we have the origin of the twins. I'm really hoping we get more of this origin story. If you saw my ups and downs review of episode two, you know how much I'm enjoying the Ranger Finds Baby Werewolves plotline. Anyway, origin point begins where we left off in episode two. Kristen Ramsey says she has a few more questions for Everett, and Blake is in a police car. The very last scene in the teaser for Origin Point seems to be Kristen questioning someone in an interrogation room. What keeps you up at night? So that seems to fit with what we last saw. The rest of the teaser suggests there's going to be some kind of slumber party? Don't open it. We've still got the rest of the night? To die. Okay, so a slumber party under threat of death, but still... Kids in a big old house trying to make it through the night sounds like a lot of fun, actually. We also get brief glimpses of others from the bus who apparently survived that traffic jam of death. Teen Wolf fans may recognize one of these guys. We first saw Austin get yoinked into the smoke on the highway, but then he showed up at the hospital, and now, just a few days later, in this scene overlooking the fire line, he looks fully recovered. Now, if Austin looks familiar, it's because actor Rio Mangini was a huge part of the opening episode of Teen Wolf Season 6. Rio Mangini, you brought him back from Teen Wolf. I love that kid. He is absolutely amazing. Such a wonderful person. I remembered from Teen Wolf, he was, I think he was only 12 or 13, and he had just such a good energy about him and such a desire to do well and to act and to be, um, to be, to find the scene. Um, I was so happy to actually bring him back and, and see how he grew as an actor. And he's great in this. I think people are going to like him. He plays a sort of conflicted character, <laughs> morally. <laughs> and I can tell you exclusively that Mangini isn't the only Teen Wolf cast member we're going to see in this first season of Wolfpack. While the shows do take place in completely different universes, a major Teen Wolf fan favorite will be joining the Wolfpack cast later in the season. No, I cannot tell you who it is. Sworn to secrecy, me. But feel free to speculate and look forward in joyous anticipation to seeing another very familiar face. New episodes of Wolfpack drop every Thursday in the U.S., Fridays in some other countries. <laughs>